Hi, I'm Chess Kane, and I want to do a video today on the line of zinc oils that AMSOIL makes. Um, for older cars, classic cars, flat tappet engines, we have a lot of choices. Um, I'm going to try to do this without losing my voice. It's been a very busy day. It's, uh, what time is it here? It's about 6 o'clock. And I've been trying to make this video for the last couple of days. Sorry for the, the gaps. I actually have several other videos, too, that I'm going to throw out. They're not quite finished, but I thought, you know what? People like our videos, so I'm going to just throw them out there anyway. And we do have some higher quality ideas coming uh, to both. Hopefully, you walk away with some information, but mainly just entertainment, you know? So um, as far as the zinc oils go, it was this topic that actually got me involved in AMSOIL in uh, 95. I actually became a dealer in 97. But uh, this, uh, the zinc oils, it's, uh, it's kind of like a incomplete subject. When you go on car forums, whether it's a Facebook group for your favorite car club or what have you, whenever somebody brings up the oil topic, there's always a huge argument. And it's, it's annoying, and I avoid it. I don't even get in those anymore. So here, I'm going to just explain what we have to offer. And uh, let's see, how do I start? The reason people are looking for the zinc oils, obviously, is the protection that you can't get out of the new oils. So there's two ways to look at this. You've got the protection, but what nobody ever discusses, because they just don't expect this out of an oil, thanks to poor quality and stockholders that ruin the industry pretty much is you don't get an oil that performs so you you try all these different oils eh, I like that one I like this one I like this one so and says she says to use this one my engine is covered blah 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 but you're really missing out you love that car you have that car for a purpose that car is you you spend all that money on it why not get an oil that when you touch that accelerator you're gonna feel the engine like you never have before uh, vibrations and rough running, maybe uh, wear or imperfections in the crankshaft. This product will smooth that out. Ask Eric Buell. He actually dropped Mobile One as a uh, recommended product in their bikes because of a vibration issue. He thought it was a crankshaft issue. He switched his to Amsoil. Then it requires that the Harley dealer selling his bikes carry Amsoil because it was the only thing that made the bikes run uh, the way that he thought they should run. Well, I experienced th that back in 95, 96. Uh, Chevy Corvair, my 64, going down the highway running Castorol GTX, which I thought was a great oil. I'm sure it had high zinc at that time. Yes, it did. Uh, around 50 to 70 miles per hour in that range, you would get this reverberating uh, vibration. It was like a sine wave that grew or you know, stretched out as your engine speed increased. And what that was, uh, was the harmonic vibrations in the crankshaft that the harmonic balancer, of course, couldn't completely uh, dampen. And what the, what the AMSOIL does, you take a hydrocarbon chain that's not all rough, like the tips of your fingers, and you get a product that's smooth, like perfect ball bearings. That's really how it is. It's a true 100% base stock oil. So the difference there is night and day. If you got a 64 Rambler, if you've got a, uh, you know, the top uh, Dodge Hemi uh, engine in your uh, drag car or whatever you got, uh, you're going to notice a difference with our oil. Actually, especially in some of the lower horsepower cars or some of the more uh, demanding ones like uh, flatheads and things like that where a lot of power and torque is lost, uh, you make up for it with an, a product like this. You just have to try it to see for yourself. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, go with the Amsoil product, at least try it out and, uh, and witness what I'm talking about. Actually, several people for decades now, since I've moved away for over a decade, in the Texas Corvair Club have called me every year for their oil because nothing else uh, performs. The other side of that is a non-true synthetic you don't get the added protection of, even if you change the oil every week, you don't get the added protection if you have a catastrophic failure of, say, a coolant line. You're out on the highway and you lose your, you know, the radiator system. Uh, you get fuel in the crankcase, which does happen. There's several reasons for that. 
uh, you lose a belt. You know, uh, in the case of Corvair, that's your fan goes out. You could have a engine overheat. It's not going to solve every problem, but if you uh, have a temperature increase, a sudden temperature increase, and you're running a typical oil, which immediately the viscosity drops. When that temperature goes up, the viscosity drops. Or over time, if the engine is running hotter than normal, or you got a sludge, let's say you've just bought a 63 old Starfire. And there's a lot of deposits in that engine. You just change the oil. You have to drive 600 miles. And the deposits in that engine start breaking that oil down all the way. You may have a something in that engine that would have lasted a couple thousand miles, but because you have an oil that's now contaminated and the viscosity has dropped, now you're causing unneeded engine wear. The AMSO product has features built in to solve those problems. So, uh, and then the added bonus uh, with our uh, Z-Rod oil, for example, it's got elevated um, anti-corrosion and rust inhibitors, not available from any of our competition. Storage is uh, an issue there. In fact, I saw a statistic, um, like 20% of the uh, wear in an engine occurs due to improper or prolonged storage. And we take care of that for you with that Z-Rod line of products. So let's just go over these products. I've been flashing them up on the screen as I've been talking. Uh, first of all, I wanted to mention, I don't have it in the photograph, is this break-in oil. So if you're rebuilding the engine, this one, let me show the technical service bulletin. There's your zinc level for the break-in oil. 2040 of phosphorus and 2265 of zinc. This two page technical service bulletin I'm going to put below the YouTube video uh, just above the comments so you'll be able to click on the link and download and print this out uh, yourself. Uh, let's go over these oils though first. Okay, the Z Rod line again, that is um, taking in consideration that classic car, if you will, that you have, that you're not driving it every day, but it does uh, require some storage time. Uh, this is what I run in my uh, Corvair right now. I didn't run it in the past because it, it's a newer product. It didn't exist then. Here's the page for it right here. And we're going to talk about price here just before I finish. But uh, there's a lot of things to consider. Corrosion is the one part that nobody else addresses as well as strong detergents, assuming that you're putting this in an older engine that has not been rebuilt. So you get the synthetic base stock, uh, and it's, it's priced for those high-performance vehicles that suffer from issues that we don't see in, in modern cars. These two, the AMO and the ARO, that's the one with the black and the slight blue label. Let me, I'll pull that up here. It's uh, A-R-O. Okay, what we have here is the original AMSO product, as you can see here. Again, high zinc. No reason to add any additives. You get what you're looking for. This is a modern equivalent of the original. But a lot of customers want to run a 40 weight, and a lot of those cars required a 40 weight. Let me go back to the TSB here. A lot of people with worn engines that they're using oil, they'll switch to this one. Uh, the 58, I don't really sell a lot, but again, that's if you want to run a good synthetic and prolong the use of that engine that may have some wear issues, but uh, halt the wear, keep the temperatures down, uh, this may be the perfect solution. I sell a lot of this one, by the way, to, uh, to lawn equipment that calls for uh, 58 oils hydrostatic uh, machines as well. And it's also a diesel. It's hard to find these days a 20W50 uh, <clears throat> engine oil that qualifies as a diesel oil as well. That just shows it's got excellent detergents in there. A lot. Of, one other comment is though a lot of people use a 2050 where they probably should be using a 1040. Why is that? Well, you're going to lose uh, horsepower in performance by running a viscosity that's too high. But if you got to go with a 2050, use our product because it's a true 100% base stock, which is tough to find. 
and because the molecules are smoother it's going to perform better and your mileage will be better this is my favorite in the group uh, my old eagle this is pretty much all I ran it's for gas and diesel engines it's a 530 excellent cold weather uh, attributes but just like the the 1040 the ammo let me pull it up here on the screen this product here is excellent in those engines that um, you bought secondhand uh, the engine may have not have been rebuilt in quite a while or you don't know the history the deposits and things like that this has your best bet in neutralizing those acids which cause significant bearing wear you just don't want that in there and acids that are left behind in deposits deplete the uh, detergent function of the oil which leads to the oil significantly breaking down so it's kind of a uh, uh, a runaway issue there so this oil has a lot of uses if you don't like a 1030 you just want a better easier starting oil but a high detergent oil uh, try this one it also has let's go back to the list here yeah it's significant amount of zinc 1,266 of the phosphorus and 1,379 of the zinc. And then this one uh, was about the most popular one because it's the AME. The original diesel and marine oil. The reason this one is so popular is it's the one Amsoil product that people just automatically migrate to when they've been using the Rotellas and the typical diesel ones that on the forum people tell them to use. So this one is actually the pre-2006 zinc levels that the industry has banished because of EPA reasons. So we still keep that one around. So if you just want to go with a, a diesel only oil, if that makes you feel better, we have this and it's an, it's priced excellent. Now let's let's talk about the price real quick and then we'll talk about the racing oils real fast. Uh, if you call me, if you're out of state and you want the Amsoil at the best price or you just want to try it out, go to my website, oilordering.com, sign up for the preferred customer choice on there, and then you'll just get it at cost, and you can have it shipped out of the nearest warehouse. Or call me direct. I can still sell to you at a great price, and I have excellent uh, UPS rates. Uh, when we ship out of here, uh, well, it depends on what state you're in, but Give me a call because we have several methods. I use speedy delivery in this region. I use UPS in the other regions. And they uh, don't tell anybody, but they recently cut my rates down by about 50%. I had to really twist their arm, and I have to keep up a minimum of a certain amount of shipping. But uh, they did that for me, and I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked. It's, it's quite low. So if you want to try these oils out, oilordering.com or dial the number that I put up on the screen again it'll be below this in the comment section below and then we last we have the dominator uh, oils here I don't use them personally again they're meant for racing purposes only they are the high zinc oil as you can see they're a true hundred percent synthetic uh, they were mostly designed and again you can print out this form it does discuss each one of these oils uh, excellent information for each one of them uh, but on the racing oils they were made for uh, other fuels if you're running other than gasoline or pure gasoline uh, it addresses that but the one thing that I have heard more than anything else since we've had these products is uh, you know racers spend a lot of money and uh, they don't like buying oil as much as they have to so what they do is they have it tested and they found with the dominator they're actually going twice as long as they normally would so if they're doing three or four races on the older oil or just one or two they're doing four to six they've doubled that interval and it's not because we said or they're taking a guess or rolling dice it's because they're actually doing oil analysis and seeing that that's possible um, let's take a look. Well, that pretty much sums that up. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching our videos.